Hey guys, and welcome to Beer Baddies. I'm Whitney. And I'm Senya. And today we're coming to you live, well, not so live, but from <laughs> our house. I'm so well, excited. Actually, first and foremost, we should say welcome back to all of our fans. Exactly. You know, I, the reason I forgot to say welcome back is because we filmed a few episodes, but we had a few beers. <laughs> And we deleted them. So, <laughs> on accident. On accident. So. I couldn't, I didn't know, it was a new camera that I was working with, so I had no idea what I was doing. But that's okay, it just gives us an excuse to drink beer. So, we should delete things more often. So, uh, <laughs> later on, if there is a beer that's already been open, but there's like a champagne stopper in it, that would be why. Well, that would be why. <laughs> so, so, what are we trying today? Okay, well, first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and start off with the, um, Iinger Irvice. Okay. Okay. This right. is one that we uh, have. I have been looking forward to you trying for a while, and I am excited to try it. So, it's the Iinger Irvice. Go ahead and get a close up of that one, camera guy. Man, I can already see a lot of the uh, sediment from. Uh, I'm assuming it's unfiltered. Uh huh. Wow. I don't know if you can get the sediment here. Let me spin it. But you can see it up here on the top. Obviously, he was hanging out on his side for a little bit, and the sediment decided to uh, to hang out on its hang side out too. on its own. <laughs> Can you see the sediment? Oh, all right. Well, no. Did you just scoot it closer? <laughs> sediment. Boom. <laughs> Maybe you if you turn that? it this way. Now, can you see it? Can you see me now? There it is. All right. Can you see me now? All right. By the way, he does actually shake the camera yes and no in real life as well. <laughs> it's it's really quite funny. So which glass were we using? Um, okay, so oh, luckily yay. we are going to be using Franconia glassware, and there's a special reason for that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, first and foremost, the first time I tried this, I um, thought to myself, this actually reminds me very much of Franconia. Well, of course it does. It's a Bavarian beer, and they go by the Bavarian Imperial Law. It has been around for well over a hundred years. I want to say it started in 1898, I believe. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong on that because, again, we did film this before, and unfortunately, I <laughs> forgot. Blah, blah. So, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and try our first All one. All right. Okay. And I think someone's coming in the front door. Yes, that they would be Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so this one's actually very, very foamy. And there is a lot of sediment in there. You see, when you said that there was a special reason, I just thought the special reason was because we love Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am trying to get you in trouble again. <laughs> but I said we. <laughs> so that's worse. <laughs> well, yours just does not want to go down. So you have to give it... <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. Yeah, definitely a lot of sediment. You can see it at the bottom of the glass even still. But it's got a beautiful, like, honey color. Mm -hmm. um, banana lots. scent, banana and clove, definitely on the nose. Uh, very, very unfiltered, very cloudy. Mm-hmm. I have to stand up banana. to get this through my mouth. Here we go. <laughs> Very clean and refreshing. Yeah, it is very clean for you know Hefeweizen. Usually, when you smell a more traditional Hefeweizen, you just expect a little bit more, um, for lack well, of a better term, funk. I suppose. I, think, I mean, it's not so much funk though, because then you think of like a skunky beer. It's not that at all. It's more. It's a it's a Dunkelweizen. It's a Dunkelweizen. Mm -hmm. Huh. Authentic Bavarian Dunkelweizen. You see, I think a Dunkelweizen. I think of like Dennis's Dunkelweizen. That's like really thick, a little darker in but color. this is a Bavarian unfiltered dark wheat ale, which makes sense because Irvice does mean dark wheat, if I remember that correctly. Oh, so. Interesting. Yeah. Well, mm. well, that would explain the subtle hints and why it doesn't take on that slight petroly taste that most 
Hefeweizen usually do, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's delicious. Mm. We are a little rusty though because we haven't done these uh, these episodes or these beer betty things in how long now? Beer betty since? Um, well, we filmed a lot in, in November. Well, in November, but we just we're we so haven't busy. been able. To, yeah, we haven't been able to do that because you know we've just been uh, doing crazy. So all right, well you know first one back. What there do you we think? Go. Well, you know, what, what would you I rate like it? I like it. I still though my favorite Dunkel Vice is actually Franconius. Um, this one, it's delicious, it's clean, it's very pure tasting, like a good, you know, Bavarian purity law following beer should be. Um, but it's not really that complex, and I do love my complex beers. So, you know, I think I would give it about three out of a six pack. Maybe three and a half. Huh. How about you? I love it because I like the fact that it's simple, and it is a great... Uh, what do you call it? Um, barbecue beer? Not a barbecue beer, kind of a, uh, a jump start beer, something to go from the Budweiser's to uh, gateway something more. Beer. Gateway <laughs> beer, thank you. So I, and you know, and of course me, I do like my lighter beers and technically this isn't supposed to be a light, but it is, oh, it's amazing. So it does, it has a very cool, crisp taste. It's very refreshing. It's great for, um, you know, cool, cool season, which is coming up. Yeah, really fast. So, really <laughs> I know. I miss the cold weather already. So I'm going to have to give it a six out of a six pack. Very nice. All right. I do like it with that being said. <laughs> Go for it. I, I, you know, I really do like it. It's not my style usually, but I do respect it. It's a very well-made beer. I will say that. Well, let's go ahead and enjoy our beers. We have a few more to go for the rest of the evening. And... So uh, maybe next episode we'll catch you up on what's been going on our end, because uh, but we do want to hear what's been going on on your end and on the beer world. Are there certain beer topics and things like that that have been going on that we have not been keeping up with? Uh, let us know. Send us a comment. Send us an email. Or send us beer. Or send us beer. <laughs> if there are certain beers that you would like for us to try, so we can get back into the game, do that. We Please love do. beer. Um, we are. Uh, we do know that there is a big thing going on with Texas, which I'll put a link down for an art for a couple of articles um, mm. on the uh, on the video. And uh, oh, aren't we doing shirts? We should be putting out some new shirts here in a little while. Just give us a few weeks, and we'll have a link for you for that as well. All right. So till next time. Cheers. Cheers.